right guys, here is my video 212. And as promised yesterday, I have a very, very special notebook I wanted to share with you today that connects me to this piece. The theme of my entire uh, week, the pictures at an exhibition by Mussorgsky. So um, come closer so you can see more close up. This particular notebook is the uh, doctoral oral exam uh, book, notebook that I used to prepare just so you guys know the oral exams at Manhattan School of Music for the DMA program are brutal. You literally have to walk in um, being prepared to answer any question on any composer or piece, the history of the instrument itself. So you basically have to be an encyclopedia walking in. So uh, to prepare myself for this, I literally went and bought myself a notebook and created little mini categories on each composer. Here you can see their uh, their names, lists, Brahms, etc. And uh, my big fascination, and those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook already have seen glimpses of this, is journaling. I have been obsessed with the idea of writing things down because as science has proven over and over, you do internalize material much, much better. It becomes more meaningful to you uh, when you write it down. And so I have volumes and volumes of journals that have kept my whole life where I not only write things down, but I also love to incorporate some artistic inspiration, either clippings and, and composer portraits and excerpts of a piece, or even draw something myself just to uh, make that personal connection. So I decided to take that, uh, I guess you can say gift of mine, uh, one of my little uh, quirks and apply to preparing for this absolutely terrifying exam. So what I did, as you can see, we begin with Bach, of course, well, before Bach actually is the history of piano itself. So you see the little uh, Cristofori piano there, the oldest pianoforte from the year um, 1700s uh, that uh, was the grandfather of the massive uh, beautiful Steinways and and such that we have today and then we from the I apologize this is the Cristofori that was a, a a different piano so you see how basic that instrument is invented in 1700 by Bartolomeo Cristofori um so from there I went on and I of course dug into Bach himself and I not only have all portraits of uh Bach and various places he lived, but also little musical uh, samples. This happens to be the well-tempered clavier. So you see for each prelude and fugue, I have a little snippet of um, the opening. So this was an amazingly helpful process, specifically when some of the pieces were inspired by art. One example, before I get to Mussorgsky, is a piece you guys have heard me play a lot, is one of my absolute most favorite pieces, and it is the Sposalizio by Franz Liszt. So as you can see, I not only researched and geeked out on the piece, writing a whole lot about it, but put the, the painting by Raphael there. Uh, many of the works in Anne de Perrenage book two are actually inspired by art. Here is another example. This beautiful masterpiece by Michelangelo that was also an inspiration to list and so on and so forth. Now, when we get to Mussorgsky, you can only imagine my excitement at the artistic inspiration behind this piece because again, not only did I get to do a whole bunch of research on the piece, but I, um, and I attach little musical excerpts but I also uh, cut out and put in the drawings of uh, Victor Hartmann, this dear, dear friend of Mussorgsky's who had unfortunately passed uh, at the time and Mussorgsky decided to compose this piece in a way to honor the, the memory of, of his friend. And so we have here, for example, this is the piece you guys heard, the snippets of the last two days, the Great Gates of Kiev. And uh, it just, again, is such a beautiful way for me to connect to these pieces. And the coolest thing about it is that 
when I begin to learn something new, I always come back to this little anthology. It's getting really old. You can see it's kind of falling apart, but it's a very, very dear um, resource for me. Um, and so I, again, recommend very, very highly journaling and doing these sorts of uh, collections and writing about things. I think it makes it so much more meaningful. In the meantime, I will see you guys tomorrow and I will play a little bit more of that delightful Great Gates of Kiev, uh, the, the big grand conclusion. So look forward to that tomorrow. See you then.